In my last tutorial, I gave you my top five length retention tips, and I mentioned how going to bed with wet hair can cause growth of fungus. Well, aside from that happening to your scalp, it can also happen on your tools. Cleanliness and sanitization are a major part of cosmetology because many undesirable scalp and hair conditions can be attributed to bacteria, mold, fungus, dirt, and debris. In this video, I am going to show you how to clean your tools. First, I'm going to fill my sink with warm water and clarifying cleanser. Do not use household cleansers for this because they are too harsh for the materials your tools are made of. Next, I am going to make sure all the hair is removed from my tools and set them in the sink to soak for about five minutes. I'm using a rat tail, but you can also purchase a brush cleaning rake tool, which I will link to below. Soaking allows the cleanser to disperse product buildup that resides on your tools. Think about how many times a week these items get touched and used. They need to be cleaned regularly. Best way to clean them is before you start your wash day so that you know you're putting clean tools in your hair and scalp. Now I'm going to rinse all of the tools off and lay them to the side. I will go back in with a nail brush and remove any product left behind. This is always a good thing to do with fine tooth combs and clips and brushes that you use for wet styling as they tend to hold more product in the crevices. You should also not allow product to just purposely dry on your tools. When you're wet styling, rinse those combs and brushes off when you're done. Next, I am going to disinfect my tools by saturating them with barbicide. Barbicide is an EPA registered hospital grade disinfectant. It is proven effective against many viruses such as HIV-1, hepatitis B and C, herpes, salmonella, influenza, and recently research has shown it effective against the human coronavirus on surfaces. It also is effective against bloodborne pathogens and it stops the growth of mold, mildew, and fungus. Barbicide is safe for non-porous surfaces such as countertops, faucet handles, doorknobs, combs, brushes, clips, rollers, shears, all of that. It is also anti-rust, so it will not cause any damage to stainless steel or stain any surfaces. This solution is a concentrate, so you have to dilute it by mixing a cap full of barbicide with water until the solution is light blue. The first step was to clean the tools. This step is to disinfect them. This is what keeps you from transferring bacteria back into your scalp and hair over and over again. Bacteria, mold, and fungus are microscopic in terms of how they attach, grow, and show up in the scalp. You will not open your hair and find a big blue patch of mold like food in the fridge. After applying the barbicide, I'm letting it sit for the recommended 10 minutes of contact time. Then I will rinse it off and use a clean towel to dry them. In salons, you've probably seen the barbicide glass container where implements are submerged. You can get one of those containers if you like, I have one, but if you're just using your tools on yourself, maybe your kids, you'll be okay with the spray bottle versus the full container immersion. This is what a clean and good condition bristled brush should look like. Notice how the bristles are not mangled or leaning and how straight they stand and how you can see the base padding of the brush. If you have had the same bristled brushes for years, it's time to treat yourself to some new ones. They are not designed to last an eternity as the bristles do split over time and they can stress and break your hair. That's why aside from cleaning and disinfecting, you need to store your tools in a clean space where your brushes can lay flat and upright to protect the bristles, not shoved in a drawer with bronzer powder residue and other random items thrown all over it. When it comes to your clips and combs, if there are teeth missing or the material is peeling, throw them out, it's time to replace them. This process takes a little time to do, but it can make a huge difference in the health of your hair and scalp. I hope this tutorial helps you better understand what I mean when I tell you all to clean your tools. You will find a link to everything used in this tutorial in the about section below or by visiting monoshair.com.